You're watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. Good morning, I'm John Muller. And I'm Marcy Gonzalez, in for Diana Perez. We begin with a deadly turn in Ukraine, the government cracking down on pro-Western protesters. More than two but dozen people now are dead. This is happening right in the shadow of Sochi, where President Russian President, that is, Vladimir Putin, hopes to project his power. In Kiev's Central Square this morning, protesters are standing firm, but the future of their cause is uncertain. ABC's Hamish McDonald joins us live by phone from Moscow. Hamish, you were there just weeks ago. Are you surprised at all by this new wave of violence? I think absolutely uh, there is a degree of surprise about uh, how much force uh, how much violence has been used in the last 24 hours. This is the deadliest day of protests in Ukraine so far. At least 25 people dead that we know of. That's on both sides, police, security forces, as well as the protesters. Uh, I think things were calmer in the period since we were there last, uh, but certainly things have sparked up yeah, over the last day. The protesters say they want a future uh, attached to Europe and the West, the values and economy that come along with that. Their president wants closer ties with Vladimir Putin, and they are at loggerheads over this key issue. And, of course, this is all happening on Putin's doorstep in the midst of the Olympic Games. He has an uprising uh, essentially on his hands in the backyard. Yeah, absolutely. The eyes of the world on this region now with the Olympics there. Uh, is there any kind of quick end in sight to this? Do you think this is going to be a big protracted battle? Uh, unlikely that this will be resolved quickly because the president has support of Russia, this enormous country just to its east. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the protesters and the key opposition leaders have the support of Europe and the West. This really pit, uh, pits the two biggest or two of the biggest powers in the world, America and Europe, versus Russia over this key battleground of the Ukraine. And what happens here will influence who has control of this giant country at the heart of Europe. This is effectively the buffer between Moscow and the West. Vladimir Putin is showing no signs of backing down, and the protesters are showing no signs of backing down either. It is unlikely that this will end peacefully at this point, given what we've seen over the last 24 hours. There is much at stake in Kiev and across Ukraine uh, over the next days. All right, Hamish McDonald live on the situation in Ukraine. Thank you so much.